that, bird? <laughs> Must be on your way now. Our ride's here. Emergency lights on. Where is everyone? Something is wrong. Be ready for anything. I'll cover you. I'm trusting you to decrypt the Odin codes so we can disable the defense system and hijack the outsmarts. Yes, for Chris. But please stop calling me a Nazi. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Did I hurt your Nazi feelings? Suck it up, princess. You still here? No, I said Oh, what the fuck? God damn it. Oh, shit. Now it's on. Brothers and sisters, thank you very much. Tomorrow we are going to shoot Nazis until we run out of bullets. But tonight, tonight is for Black Squid. Oh, 
sort of starts with the corn. And on occasion, we've done barley. But I think, well, I like rye, but he usually does corn. And then we... Man, where's your arm? Chris, what's going on? Our pilot is still drunk and we're supposed to be in the air by now. Can he fly in this condition? Well, he sure can't fucking fly with one arm. Okay, Horton, Anya, get him some coffee or something to sober him up. And Blaskowitz, fly Fergus's fucking arm before this whole operation turns into a shit show? God damn. Fergus. Fergus. Hey, wake Can up. Can you hear me? Hey. Fergus, it's Anya. Hey. Come on. Oh. Everyone. Fergus' No, sirree, Bob. I haven't seen Fergus's arm here or anywhere. Man, don't be drunk disorderly. There's only one here. Damn it, Fergus. Why you always gotta be losing your arm? I have Blaskovich. I know not where this arm is you seek. See, I speak with Fergus. He was very drunk, Capitan. But he still had his arm with him. Good captain, I could use your help with something. Sir, Section 66G was sealed off because of a, a gas leak back when you first took over the U-boat. Now there is something rotting in there and we have to get rid of it. We have a serious fly infestation on our hands. You have that extraordinary constrictor harness, and so I speculated you could venture into Section 66G through the ventilation system and turn off the gas so that I may send a cleanup crew in there. Here, allow me to open this hatch. Oh, you. Ugh, smells of death.
Gracious, you made it out, Captain. I heard some awful noises and wagered there was trouble. I will make sure the cleanup crew knows the gas has been turned off. Some information for you. Hey, Parish Jack. So, I'm looking for Fergus's arm. You seen that thing? You know, I did see Fergus late last night. See the lass over there? Christ, man, don't look. Yeah, I was meaning to give her this rose and. Uh, I wanted to say something romantic here, uh, from that day, right? Oh, on occasion. Right. Nothing sleazy. Uh, she's a good lass. And I want her to know I'm an honourable man. So, how's this? Maria, ever since I saw you, I've been wanting to do this. And then I hunted the rose and I say, this rose is a symbol of my good intention. I hope you'll consider going out with me. If it's honest and from the heart, it's all that matters. Yeah, I'm nervous. I don't want to fuck this up. Let me play some to set the mood. seen a man that angry. Thanks. Look for the arm in the hand. That's where Fergus went. All right. Fergus was last seen heading for the hangar field depot. Maybe he left his arm there. Teacher? History teacher. Yes. I like history. It's just hard to tell what actually happened and what is bullshit. Kids in America today, they open a textbook and it'll say the Europe paid the Mona Lisa. That's why they say history. Mr. Hoppaloop author, but I'm reading your erotic mystery novel to get turned on, not the exact opposite. I've not seen the arm of Fergus, brother. I was too busy drinking. Woo! I remember that party is the father. But the next thing I know, I am wrapped up in some sort of rivalrous triangle with that Nazi girl. I mean, how was I supposed to know he was spoken for?
haven't seen Ferguson's out of guy. Just look at him. Is on. I heard he had some call with that beautiful French madame, Maria. Says the arm of Vacus is angry, dangerous. But then he says nothing more. Are you trying to fucking kill me? Well, there you go. Old Horton's patented hangover blaster always delivers. Boom! What are you lot loitering around for, huh? I've only got a mission briefing to attend. The party's open. Brothers and sisters. My brothers and sisters. Check this out. In less than six hours, Frau Engel is going to make a scheduled appearance on the Jimmy Carver show, live from Hollywood, California. Now, while that bitch is getting her ass kissed on national television, we're going to infiltrate the Ausmercer, disable the Odin defense system, and hijack her ship. And then we find that bitch and we take her out. What you got? Frau Grace, I decrypted the Odin codes Herr Bleskovich brought back from Venus. Turns out it's just one simple word. Valhalla. Type in Valhalla in any of the Odin terminals and you will have permission to shut down the automated defense systems. Well, all right. Now, fuck off, Nazi. Like I was saying, we are going to find that bitch and we are going to take her Grace. out. What? Again! I am not a Nazi! 
see. You do not have the right to label me as something I am not. As someone less than yourself. As someone less than human. Say it. Say I'm not a Nazi. All right. Okay, I get it. You're not a Nazi. And you... I'm in love with you. Don't you understand that you... Idiot! And it hurts. It hurts that you are so stupid you don't love me back. But I will dry the tears from my eyes. Get over it and move on. Because I don't need you to be happy. I will just be mentally using your body from time to time for my own personal pleasure. And there's nothing you can do about that. Sigrid. But I'm leaving, okay? No way. Don't be silly. Oh, you coming with us. expert here laid out for us. We have to approach fest in law. That will buy us time before we are detected by Odin's radar. Once we are directly below the Erzmerzer, we must ascend rapidly and vertically. This will give us the greatest chance of surviving Odin's opening salvo. If we are lucky, we make it back out before Odin has a missile lock on us. 